Hey Brian, what's up with that uh, clean me message on this machine? Oh, well, that means that we need to run the cleaning cycle on our Breville Espresso Infuser. We're going to show you how to do that today here on Presto Chef. Let's talk about it. Cleaning your Breville Espresso Infuser is actually real easy to do, and here's all you're going to need to do it. Now, first of all, you're going to need your one cup uh, filter basket. Now, this is the one cup not the two or any of the other ones that come with the machine, use the one cup. And then you're gonna need your port of filter. Now your basket is going to go into your port of filter. Click that in. And next you'll need this rubber stopper. This rubber stopper is going to go into the filter basket. This is going to help water to backflow into the machine and thus clean out the innards of it. Really important thing here next is going to be these cleaning tablets. Now you're gonna get a couple of these with your Breville Espresso Infuser, these are gonna be important for being able to properly back flush the machine. Make sure to check out our link in the description below if you need to buy more of these. And finally, you're going to need a pitcher to catch this water as you're cleaning the machine and you can use the handy one that comes with your espresso infuser. Now then, we're going to pop one of these capsules out of the little blister pack right here. Take this capsule, it is not candy, do not eat it. <laughs> Place this right there in the rubber stopper. Now we're going to attach the basket to the machine, lock it down tight, and make sure that your water tank is filled with water because you're gonna use a lot of water to be able to back flush the machine properly. Next, take your milk pitcher, place this right underneath the brew head, and power the machine off. Now to start the cleaning cycle, we're going to hold the power one cup and two cup buttons together for 10 seconds. We're going to just press down on all three of those. So now we have to wait for five minutes, and that's because over the course of five minutes, the machine's going to intermittently run water throughout it. It's back flushing. It's going to get the machine clean. So what do we do for five minutes, Igor? I have a project for you, Brian. Okay. We have to count coffee beans for five minutes and you're gonna tell us how many beans you counted for five minutes. <laughs> I I mean, I've done weirder things. So sure, let's... Stop talking. Start okay, counting. I'm counting. One. You already put two in. Yeah. All right, so that's three. Not eating, counting. Yep. So if he eats the coffee beans, drink water, and then um, drink almond milk, he's gonna have uh, almond uh, latte or cappuccino. If you guys want me to do this, you need to leave a comment down below. But to make good form, you have to be, be uh, you have to do baby dance. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Brian Chino. Brian Cappuccino. Hashtag Brian Cappuccino. Brian Chino. Brian Chino. I, I like it. Oh man, you eat them all! Oh, instead, you... of, instead of counting, he eat them all. Ate them all. Oh, you said count the beans. Yes. I thought you meant count how many I could eat. Oh man, so Which how was... many did you eat? I'm gonna take those beans away from you. More than I should have. So the machine is done running its cleaning cycle, and we know that because it beeped. It gives us a little signal and it stops running, and you notice that the clean me light is now turned off. So that means that we've done our job correctly and cleaned the machine. Now, I should note something. As we were cleaning it, we found that this pitcher was not enough to hold all of the backflow water. We had to empty this out somewhere between there because it was going to run over. So you just need to keep that in mind uh, when you're doing this. But once you're done with that, you can of course dump this water and all you need to do is take off your porta filter, clean it out thoroughly, and you're good to go. The machine is ready to keep brewing and until the next time you see that clean me light, you're gonna keep getting a much better cup of coffee as a result. And there you have it guys, that is how you can clean your Breville Espresso Infuser. I hope you found this useful, but as always, if you have questions, comments, Leave them for us here on this video. Find us on your favorite social media network. Join us at Presto Chef. And as always, guys, I'm Brian with Presto Chef. We're going to help you to be a better cook with Presto Chef. Until next time, take care. Hey, Igor, do you want an espresso? I always want my espresso, but let me ask you a question. Oh, ask me a question? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do you have a car?
I do have a car, yes. Is it the stick or it's automatic? It's a stick shift, man. I like to be able to control. I like to know what I'm doing with the car. My wife don't like sticks. She likes automatic. So it's okay. this is exactly what we're going to talk about. Good point. That's a good point. Automatic. And the stick shift, full control. Let's talk about it here on Presto Chef.